Hi, my name is Julie Meyer, and I want to talk to you about dreams because I love dreams. And I was never a dreamer, and I would hear people say, Oh, I've dreamt since I was four, and I never did. And I just started asking the Lord, I believe that God tells his secrets to his friends. And I just want to know what he's thinking. I want to know what's on his heart. I want to know what's in his plans. I want to know what's on his heart. And I started asking the Lord for dreams. And I, we, we all know this scripture, which I want to read. It's Acts 2, 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And I love this verse because this is a personal promise. This is a personal promise that God is going to pour out his spirit on all. That's a key word on all flesh. It's not just the official leaders. It's not just the people behind uh, the pulpit on Sunday mornings, but it's everyone. If you are in Australia and you are watching this, it's you. If you are in Singapore and you're watching this, this scripture is a personal promise for you and a personal promise for me. And it's without age or distinction, without gender, that God is going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh, that we would all prophesy, that we would dream dreams, that we would see visions. And I love this because the word of God, we always have to go back to the word of God. The word of God is filled with visions and filled with dreams from the front clear to the back, from Abraham clear to John. It shows direct communication from God to those in this word. Now there is a key that I want to read to you, which is Deuteronomy 13. And this is crucial because dreams should always lead you to God. Dreams never lead you to worship angels. They never lead you to anything contrary than the word of God. And if you read Deuteronomy 13, if there arises among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder comes to pass, of which he spoke to you, saying, Let us go after other gods which you have not known, and let us serve them. This is a warning. This is what dreams do not do. Dreams from the Lord. This is your checkup. This is your heads up. Dreams always lead you to Jesus. We don't worship dreams. We worship Jesus. I just want to know Jesus more. Therefore, in every area, whether I'm awake, whether I'm asleep, I want to be meditating on the Word of God. And when I sleep, I want to dream the dreams of God. And I believe that he wants to tell us that he is a God who communicates, that he is a God who visits us in the day, that he is a God that visits us in the night. It's all over the word of God. Whether it, the Lord appeared to righteous and unrighteous men, men in the word of God. He appeared to a king Ablimelech. That's one of the first dreams. He was an unrighteous king in the days of Abraham when Abraham told his wife, Sarah, pretend like you're my sister. And King Ablimelech, he took Sarah as his wife and God visits King Ablimelech in a dream and says, surely thou art a dead man. This would not be a, a good thing for God to say to you in your dreams. That puts the fear of God in me. But, but in a dream, God protected Sarah. God is communicating with this man in a dream. And, and the same thing in uh, Nebuchadnezzar has dreams where uh, the Lord uh, speaks to an unrighteous, ungodly king. And what I love about that, 
how much more do we need to be praying for our official leaders? Beloved, we need to be praying that God would visit and encounter President Obama in a dream. He's done it in his word. He can do it today. We need to take all of our opinions and we need to be praying, God, I ask that you would give President Obama an encounter in his, in his dreams. Encounter him in the night, God. Stir him up. Make him restless in his sleep in the night. I love that. In Genesis chapter 28, is, is when Jacob had a dream and he saw uh, a ladder. He saw the angels of the Lord ascending and descending with uh, the Lord at the very top. And what I love about that is that Jacob's natural eyes saw in a dream what is literally happening. And if it happened then, it's happening today. And that makes me so excited. When you uh, study Solomon, because we all know the story of Solomon when he asked for wisdom. That whole thing happened in a dream. Solomon, it says that Solomon had a dream and he communicated with God. And in the dream, it says that when Solomon asked for wisdom, that it says it, his request pleased the Lord. The birth of Jesus was directed by dreams. Joseph had a dream uh, where the angel of the Lord said, uh, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The wise men had a dream in protecting the Lord. And I'm just so excited that, that God, dreams are so wonderful because it's when God comes to us and he reveals himself as God to us. He did it in the Word. You can find it all over the Word. And so I want to pray for you. I just, I pray, Lord, I pray for, for everyone watching this segment on dreams. I pray that you begin to encounter them in the night, that you begin to, to, to give them your dreams, that they would dream your dreams, that they would dream your heart in the night. And I pray this in Jesus' name. What I love about dreams is that God in his kindness, he doesn't come to me and speak German. He doesn't come to me and speak Mandarin, but he comes to me and he comes to you and he sends his angels in a dream to speak a message that I believe it's the great call to intercession, that we would take these prophetic dreams, that we would take these dreams and, and, and join Jesus Christ, the great intercessor, and birth his purposes on the earth. I'd like to invite you to tune in to part two, where I'm going to be telling uh, a dream called, Come and Sit a While. And it's actually in my book called Invitation to Encounter. And I love this book. I wrote it from my own journey in dreams. I, I believe that the Lord gave me just key nuggets on encountering his heart, on humility, on righteousness, on heaven, and just secrets. I believe in mysteries that the Lord is getting ready to do in the earth. And what we do with that is we join him in intercession and we pray them and we birth them. And it's all because we go to sleep and we dream. So tune in on Come and Sit a While.